Hey guys, welcome back to Anpei. Hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving. I know it's been a while since I uploaded the last video, but I'm back at it, better and stronger. <laughs> so without further ado, today we'll be looking at our two colonies of Amaculotus and see how they've done in the past two and a half months. So let's dive in. This is colony A. When we first got them, she only had 5 workers, single larva, and few eggs. And since she had the most workers, I decided to keep her in the uh, Tar Heel Mini Earth. And it was to see how it would affect the colony's growth. And this is what they look like now. Just recently, about half of these workers hatched out. And I believe the total numbers of workers are up to 22 or 23. I don't know if I counted them right. <laughs> and here is Colony B. She had 4 workers and quite a few eggs and some larvae. And we decided to keep this one in a test tube. And this is what they look like now. Whoa, just look at all those pupae. We're gonna have some explosion soon. Explosion. Ooh, works are hard again. This colony has about 25 to 26 workers, and as you can see, there's so much more on the way. So I guess this kind of you know answers the question of you know which method is better to keep in a test tube or just straight ahead you know put them in the nest. And as you can see, the ones that were in the test tube the longest are doing the best. So, lesson learned. I recently saw two cool things that I noticed, and I want you to guys to take a look at these shots of uh, colonies A and B. Do you guys spot the difference? I'm going to count to three and give you the answer. But before that, uh, if you guys can spot the uh, difference, just write down your answer in the comment section below. So, three, two, one. In colony B, pretty much all workers have distinctive stripes and dots uh, pretty much throughout their abdomens. And if you can see colony A, only about half of the workers have those um, stripes and dots. And also if you can see colony B queen, uh, she has much darker pattern as well as the dots. And you know, of course colony A, not as much. So, I thought these were pretty cool observations. And guys, I'm <laughs> really tired of calling it uh, Colony A and B. So if you guys have cool names, um, you know, write them down in the comment section below. And yeah, we can just vote on it on our Instagram page. Since this is Thanksgiving, I decided to throw some feasts for my ants. So we have two juicy super worms. Mmm, yum. And two fat cockroaches. They've been feeding on some nice organic food, which, you know, something not I eat. <laughs> and also, I wanted to uh, try giving them this um, jelly. So, the funny thing I noticed about these girls is that uh, when it comes to foraging, these girls are wimps. <laughs> Unlike other ants I keep, uh, they only send out a couple of workers at a time, maybe a few workers at a time. And, and I know they don't have the greatest numbers, but you know, when it came to, let's say, the Floridanus or the Nikos, you know, once they noticed that the foraging area is safe, they would send out about like 50% to 70% of the workers. Um, but these girls will only send out two or three at a time. And I'm hoping once they reach about, you know, 50 to 60 workers, then they'll send out actually swarms of ants and you know I guess maybe time will tell because they only send a few workers at a time they are always performing travel axis in the nest and I actually really enjoy watching that and as you can see here they are performing it at three at a time and I, I believe they were doing it Five at a time, but I didn't get to you know, film it because as soon as I turned on the lights, they just ran away. They take 
ages to finish foraging and it, you know it kind of gets on my nerves because I'm so impatient I just want to see them swarm and devour the cockroaches or the mealworms I put in front of them but they don't they just take their time and then nibble at a time go back in their nest nibble go back nibble go back I'm like come on just eat it <laughs> now don't you worry guys um, you guys came for some action and I saved you guys some action here's a um, Floridanus and as you can see they are going haywire um, they had a huge population explosion once they moved into Park Hill Fortress and I will cover them in a separate video soon for now just enjoyed watching this girl devour this cockroach and super one. <laughs>